Hey guys, it's Zach from the ConCon channel and in this video I'm going to show you where all the collectibles are in the Mitre area in Rise of the Ronin. So the first collectible you can get in the Mitre area is the Veiled Edge Banner. All you have to do is come to this area over here. You would probably have come here for your mission where you had to unlock your camera. But once you're here, you'll be on the bridge and you can just go up to the banner and you can spark the banner right up. So the next collectible that you can get is the treasure chest which spawns right here where my marker is in this building now what you can do is you can just spawn by this veiled edge banner over here and you can run all the way across the bridge until you get to the building now once you get to the building there will be two guards watching over or three guards i, I believe watching over the treasure chest but once you head to the back of the building you'll be able to get the chest that's right over here so the next collectible you can get is the public order collectible all you need to do is come to this area over here once you're in this area, you'll see that you can start at the bottom and you have to fight all the foes until you make your way to the top. You would have seen that the fugitive spawns alongside the public order, so you can go ahead and defeat him. And once you have defeated all the enemies, the public order has been restored. So the next collectible you can get is the Veld Edge Banner, which can be found at this location right here. But you should have already completed it once you have finished the public order objective. But if you want to see where it is, it's right over here and you can just go out to it and you can touch the banner. The following collectible you can get is the treasure chest, which is inside the same area where the fugitive and public order took place. But once you have defeated the fugitive and completed the public order, you'll be able to get the chest freely. Now all you need to do is just come into the building and you'll see that the chest is at the back of the building and you can just go ahead and open it up to get your juicy rewards. So the next collectible in the Mitre area is the Veld Edge Banner. Now all you have to do is actually try and make your way up to this path from where the public order took place. You're going to come all the way up the mountain and you're going to come over here and you can just go ahead the path and you'll go to the Veld Edge Banner. Now what you're going to do is just follow what I do. You need to jump across with your glider. I obviously just messed it up, but you can actually just climb up this mountain and once you get to the top, you'll see that there's a broken bridge. And once you make your way up the mountain, you'll see that the Veiled Edge banner is right here. And you can just go ahead and collect the banner. After you have collected the Veiled Edge banner, you'll see that the cat is right next to the banner. And you can go ahead and see that the cat is right here at the edge of the bridge. And you can just go up to the cat and pet the cat and collect the cat. Now the next collectible you can get is the shrine. Now once you have actually gotten the banner, you should have already collected the shrine. But if you want to see where it is, it is right here in front of the banner. And as soon as you reach this area of here, it will say that your landmark has been visited. So the next collectible you can get is the photography collectible. And when you click details, it says take a photo of the main hall of the Wakamiya Hachi Mangu Shrine. Sorry if I butchered that. But all you need to do is actually just stand on the bridge where the Veld Edge banner is. Take out your camera and then just take a photo of the main hall like that. And it should say success. The next collectible you are going to get is the shrine, which is right next to this landmark. Now I'll show you how to get there because it's not as simple as you might think. So once you're by the landmark, you're going to go to this grapple and you're going to grapple up here. And then you're going to run across to the side of the building and then grapple across here. And you'll see that there's another grapple and then you just have to keep grappling. It's a pretty cool looking animation. And then once you get to the top, you'll see that the shrine is right here and you can just go ahead and pray at the shrine. So the next collectible you can get is the public orders collectible, which is right in this location over here. And you'll see that there'll be enemies, of course, as normal. And all you need to do is just take out the enemies. And once you have defeated all the enemies, the area will be restored and you'll actually see more collectibles pop up on the map. So the next collectible you're going to get is the treasure chest. Now, it's actually quite difficult to get you, so I'll quickly show you how to get there. So what you're going to do is take the same path you took to get to the shrine, but instead of just stopping there, you'll see that there's a miniature bridge you can jump off to glide across to get to the other mountain where the treasure chest is. So once you have taken the path, you can just go up to the chest and you can open the chest to get your well-deserved rewards. So the next collectible you can get in the Mitre area is the landmark, the Mitre Castle Ruins. All you need to do is come to this area over here. And you can either do this by doing a mission where you have to unlock your camera or you can just go to this area in your free time. But I'll show you how to get there. So and we'll just glide across. As soon as you land or are in the close area, you'll see that it'll say that you have visited the landmark. What well, you can get is the cat which spawns right over here at the bottom of the Mitre area. 
And once you get to this area, you'll see that the cat is around the corner of here, but the cat is actually hidden in the grass. But once you see the cat, you can go ahead and pet the cat, and that is the cat collected. Now the final collectible you can find is the cat which is all the way at the bottom of the mitre area but just be careful this cat is sleeping. So you'll see that the cat is sleeping so just use your stealth mode and walk up to it. When you get close as possible you can pet the cat and that is the cat collected. It's been Zach from the Concon channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.